Imagine stepping into a world where the spotlight rarely shines but where opulence and success reign supreme. Picture a mansion so vast and luxurious that it feels like a hidden paradise, an expansive car collection that turns heads at every corner, and a net worth that reflects a career of unparalleled achievements. Welcome to the very private world of Ice Cube, the legendary rapper, actor, and entrepreneur whose success story is as fascinating as it is elusive. In this exclusive look, we'll peel back the curtain on Ice Cube's life beyond the public eye, exploring his impressive wealth, his stunning home, and the remarkable vehicles that define his style. Join us as we delve into the details of one of hip-hop's most influential figures and uncover the secrets of his extraordinary world. Ice Cube, an American rapper, actor, producer, and businessman, boasts an impressive net worth of $160 million. He first rose to prominence as one of the pioneers of West Coast gangsta rap. Founding the influential group NWA, which catapulted him to fame and wealth. However, Ice Cube's career didn't stop there he successfully transitioned into a solo artist, further solidifying his status in the music industry. Beyond his achievements in music, Ice Cube has made a significant mark in Hollywood as both a producer and screenwriter. He has not only starred in numerous films but also taken on key roles behind the scenes, producing many of these projects. His production company, Cube Vision, has been instrumental in bringing a variety of successful film and television projects to life, cementing his reputation as one of the most powerful figures in the entertainment industry today. Ice Cube, born O'Shea Jackson on June 15, 1969, in South Central Los Angeles, is one of the most influential figures in hip-hop. Growing up in a challenging environment, he was the son of Doris, a hospital security guard and secretary, and Hosea Jackson, a groundskeeper at UCLA. Ice Cube's early life was marked by the tragic murder of his half-sister when he was just 12 years old. A loss that undoubtedly shaped his outlook on life. He spent his childhood on Van Wyck Street, a tough neighborhood that played a crucial role in his gritty and unapologetic music. From a young age, Ice Cube showed a passion for music, particularly rap and hip-hop. By the age of 14, he was already writing his own songs, a talent that would eventually catapult him to stardom. His rapper name, Ice Cube, originated from a playful yet intense threat from his older brother, who warned him that he would be slammed into a freezer until he became a block of ice. The nickname stuck, and it soon became synonymous with a new, raw voice in hip-hop. Ice Cube attended William Howard Taft High School in Woodland Hills, California, where he continued to develop his musical skills. At just 16, he made a significant breakthrough by selling his first song to Eazy-E who would later become a member of the iconic rap group N.W.A. This early success fueled Ice Cube's ambition, leading him to pursue further education in a field seemingly far removed from music. In the fall of 1987, he enrolled at the Phoenix Institute of Technology in Arizona, where he studied architectural design. Ice Cube completed his degree in just one year, demonstrating the same work ethic and determination that would later define his music career. However, the world of architecture was not where Ice Cube's true passion lay. After finishing his studies, he returned to Los Angeles, ready to immerse himself fully in the rap scene. He formed the group CIA with his friend Sir Jinx. And they began performing at local parties, many of which were hosted by the legendary Dr. Dre. It wasn't long before Ice Cube's talent caught Dre's attention. In 1987, CIA released a Dr. Dre-produced track, My Posse, marking Ice Cube's first official step into the music industry. Ice Cube's big break came when he showed Eazy-E the lyrics to a song he had written, Boys and the Hood. Initially, Eazy-E was unimpressed and even hated the lyrics. However, he eventually recorded the song for N.W.A.'s debut album, Nua and the Posse. This album featured future hip-hop legends like Dr. Dre, MC Ren, DJ Yella, and Ice Cube himself. Ice Cube also contributed significantly to N.W.A.'s breakthrough album, Straight Outta Compton, released in 1988. He wrote Dr. Dre's rhymes and collaborated with Dre and Eazy-E on half of the album's lyrics, helping to craft the brutally honest and politically charged sound that would make N.W.A. a household name. Despite his crucial role in N.W.A.'s success, Ice Cube's time with the group was marred by financial disputes. He was paid only $32,000 for his work on Straight Outta Compton, a sum that did not reflect his contributions. Frustrated by unresolved conflicts over his salary and the lack of a formal contract, Ice Cube made the difficult decision to leave N.W.A. 
His departure marked the beginning of a solo career that began with a bang when he released his debut album, America's Most Wanted, in May 1990. This album was not just a personal triumph but a landmark in the evolution of rap music, capturing the raw energy and social commentary that defined the genre at the time. Riding the momentum of his debut, Ice Cube quickly followed up with the release of the EP Kill at Will later that same year. The EP broke new ground as the first hip-hop extended play to achieve platinum status, further cementing Ice Cube's reputation as a force to be reckoned with in the music industry. His ability to connect with listeners through his provocative lyrics and powerful delivery was undeniable. And his influence continued to grow. Later that year, Ice Cube released his second album, Death Certificate. The album was as controversial as it was influential, with its hard-hitting commentary on race relations, social justice, and the African-American experience. While the album divided audiences and critics, it solidified Ice Cube's role as a provocateur who was unafraid to challenge the status quo. His willingness to tackle uncomfortable truths head-on made him a polarizing figure. But it also garnered him a dedicated fanbase. Next year, Ice Cube expanded his reach by performing at the Lollapalooza Music Festival, a platform that introduced his music to a broader audience. The same year, he released The Predator, his third album, which made history by debuting at number one on both the pop and R&B charts, a first for any album. The Predator was a commercial triumph, selling over 3 million copies in the United States alone, and it remains Ice Cube's most successful release to date. The album's blend of sharp social commentary and infectious beats resonated with listeners and critics alike, solidifying Ice Cube's place in the upper echelons of hip-hop. However, the following year marked a turning point in Ice Cube's career. His fourth album, Lethal Injection, released in 1993, failed to capture the same critical acclaim as his earlier work. While it still found an audience, the album signaled a shift in the rapper's trajectory, with some fans and critics noting a departure from the raw intensity that had defined his previous releases. As his rap audience began to wane, Ice Cube took a hiatus from music, stepping back from the spotlight. It wasn't until 1998 that Ice Cube returned with his fifth album, War and Peace Vol. 1. By this time, the hip-hop landscape had changed, and while the album was well received by his core fans, it did not achieve the same level of success as his earlier work. Ice Cube continued to evolve, and in 2000, he joined forces with Dr. Dre, Eminem, and Snoop Dogg on the Up in Smoke tour, which became one of the most iconic rap tours of the era. After a six-year break, Ice Cube released Laugh Now, Cry Later in 2006. The album debuted at number four on the Billboard chart, proving that he still had the ability to connect with a wide audience. His subsequent album, I Am The West, released on September 28, 2010, further showcased his enduring relevance in the rap world. Throughout the 2010s, Ice Cube continued to explore new creative avenues, collaborating on various projects and working with artists outside of the hip-hop genre, including Trent Reznor and David Bowie. His willingness to experiment and push boundaries kept him at the forefront of the industry. In 2018, after years of slowly releasing singles, Ice Cube dropped his 10th solo album, Everything's Corrupt. The album was a return to form, with its sharp political commentary and unapologetic stance on issues that mattered to him. Two years later, in 2020, Ice Cube joined forces with fellow West Coast rap legend Snoop Dogg, E-40, and Too Short to form the supergroup Mount Westmore. The group's debut album was released on June 7, 2022, adding another chapter to Ice Cube's storied career. Looking ahead, Ice Cube shows no signs of slowing down. In early 2024, he will embark on the Straight Into Canada tour, bringing his powerful music and message to audiences across the country. Ice Cube, a name synonymous with rap and film, has also made significant strides in other business ventures and projects, establishing himself as a multi-talented entrepreneur and cultural icon. Other Projects one of his most notable endeavors is the formation of the supergroup Westside Connection in 1996. Teaming up with fellow rappers Mac-10 and WC, Ice Cube expanded his influence in the music world by releasing two collaborative albums. The group became known for their West Coast sound and politically charged lyrics, further cementing Ice Cube's status as a pivotal figure in hip-hop. Beyond music, Ice Cube ventured into the fashion industry with his clothing line, Solo by Cube. This brand is particularly innovative, offering hooded sweatshirts with built-in headphones, blending style with practicality. 
The line reflects Ice Cube's knack for merging his creative instincts with consumer needs, making it a hit among fans and fashion enthusiasts alike. Ice Cube's entrepreneurial spirit didn't stop there. In 2011, he became a spokesperson for Coors Light Beer, lending his voice and image to the brand. This partnership highlighted his ability to connect with mainstream audiences while maintaining his authentic persona. Ice Cube's influence in advertising further showcased his versatility and marketability beyond the entertainment industry. In a bold move to combine his love for basketball with business, Ice Cube announced the launch of a new project, Big 3, on January 11, 2017. Big 3 is a professional basketball league that features former NBA stars providing a platform for retired players to continue showcasing their skills in a highly competitive environment. The league's first season kicked off in June 2017 and quickly gained attention for its unique three-on-three -three format and its ability to attract top talent. Ice Cube's vision for Big 3 was not just about creating a sports league but also about revolutionizing the way fans engage with the game, offering a new and exciting experience for basketball enthusiasts. As Big 3 continued to grow, so did the interest in its behind-the-scenes story. In 2023, Ice Cube partnered with renowned producer Jesse Collins to develop a documentary series about the league. This series, produced by Jesse Collins Entertainment, aims to chronicle the success of Big 3 and its journey to becoming one of the most significant sports leagues in the world. Through these ventures, Ice Cube has demonstrated his ability to excel in various fields, from music and fashion to sports and entertainment. As he continues to innovate and break new ground, Ice Cube's impact on popular culture remains as powerful as ever. With all this success, it's no surprise that we'd be featuring his ultra-luxurious homes. Mansion in Marina del Rey, California In May 2016, Ice Cube made headlines with a significant real estate investment, purchasing a stunning home in Marina del Rey, California, for more than $7 million. This opulent residence, formerly owned by action star Jean-Claude Van Damme, represents a prime example of luxury living in one of Los Angeles' most sought-after areas. The property, situated just 10 miles from Ice Cube's primary residence, serves as a lavish escape from the rigors of everyday life, providing a serene retreat for the rapper and his family. The mansion, originally acquired by Van Damme in 2012 for $6 million, stands as a testament to modern architectural splendor. Spanning an impressive 7,575 square feet, the home offers a spacious layout with six bedrooms and 11 bathrooms, catering to both comfort and style. The three-story design of the house is meticulously crafted to enhance its luxurious appeal, with each level boasting a range of high-end features. A standout feature of the property is its breathtaking views of the surrounding canal. The home's location provides picturesque vistas that add to its allure, offering a tranquil backdrop that complements the interior's opulent design. The rooftop pool is perhaps the crown jewel of the residence, providing an elevated vantage point to enjoy the surrounding scenery and relax in style. Inside, the master bedroom exemplifies modern luxury with a cozy yet sophisticated atmosphere. This private retreat includes a comfortable sitting area, a fireplace, and a television, allowing Ice Cube and his wife to unwind in complete privacy. The adjoining master bathroom continues the theme of elegance with its all-white design, featuring imported tiles. A large glass shower, a jetted tub, and a vanity designed with Ice Cube's wife in mind, ideal for preparing for an evening out. The home's living area combines wood and stone elements to create a warm and inviting environment. A large television and a fireplace serve as focal points, enhancing the room's functionality and comfort. The home theater, an exceptional feature of the house, stands out with its plush leather sofas, high-tech screens, and elegantly curtained walls. This space is designed for a premium viewing experience. Reflecting Ice Cube's appreciation for high-quality entertainment, the kitchen is a culinary enthusiast's dream, featuring a breakfast bar with height-adjustable seating that adds both convenience and sophistication. The dark wood cabinetry provides a striking contrast to the predominantly white interior, creating a visually appealing contrast that complements the home's overall aesthetic. The inclusion of a state-of-the-art gym further elevates the property's status, offering a fitness space that rivals any commercial facility. Additionally, the wine cellar is a notable feature, designed to impress with its 3D-printed walls adorned with wine barrels. This unique design element not only serves as a practical storage solution but also adds a touch of artistic flair to the home. 
Ice Cube's Marina del Rey property represents a harmonious blend of luxury, functionality, and style. The mansion's extensive features and prime location make it a quintessential retreat for the entertainer, offering a sophisticated escape from the demands of daily life. This residence is not just a home but a reflection of Ice Cube's successful career and refined tastes, providing a perfect setting for relaxation and enjoyment. Mansion in Encino, California In addition, he also maintains an impressive portfolio of real estate, including a sprawling mansion in Encino, California. Purchased in June 1996 for more than $2 million, this estate serves as the primary residence for Ice Cube, his wife, and their family, offering a blend of luxury, comfort, and privacy. Nestled on about one acre lot, the Encino Mansion is a true embodiment of refined living. The nearly 8,000 square foot main house is a masterpiece of architectural design, featuring seven bedrooms that cater to the needs of a growing family. The property is designed to accommodate various lifestyles, with spaces that are both functional and elegant. The heart of the home is its large kitchen, which seamlessly flows into a breakfast area and a family room. This open concept design makes it an ideal space for casual family gatherings. As well as for entertaining guests, the kitchen is equipped with modern appliances and ample counter space, making it a dream for anyone who loves to cook. The adjacent family room offers a cozy environment, perfect for spending quality time together. For more formal occasions, the mansion boasts a large dining room, where family dinners and special celebrations can be hosted in style. The separate formal living room adds a touch of sophistication, providing a serene setting for relaxation or conversation. Each of these spaces is thoughtfully designed, creating an atmosphere of warmth and elegance throughout the home. Upstairs, the mansion reveals its true luxury with two lavish master suites. These suites are the epitome of comfort, featuring large closets that provide ample storage space and spa-like bathrooms that offer a private retreat. The bathrooms are designed with high-end finishes, including soaking tubs, walk-in showers, and dual vanities, creating a sanctuary where relaxation is paramount. In addition to the master suites, the home includes three junior suites, each with its own unique charm. These rooms are situated around a spacious media room, which serves as a central hub for entertainment and leisure. The outdoor spaces of the Encino estate are equally impressive, offering a seamless blend of beauty and functionality. The large infinity pool, complete with Baja shelves and a spa, is the centerpiece of the backyard, providing a luxurious spot for swimming and relaxation. The pool area is complemented by a separate structured pool bathroom, ensuring convenience for guests and family members alike. Beyond the pool, the estate features a spacious lawn and an entertaining area that is perfect for outdoor gatherings. Whether hosting a summer barbecue or simply enjoying a quiet evening under the stars, the outdoor space is designed to accommodate a variety of activities. The entire property is surrounded by lush foliage and mature trees, creating a natural barrier that enhances privacy and adds to the estate's overall beauty. Ice Cube's Encino Mansion is more than just a residence it is a testament to his success and his appreciation for the finer things in life. The estate's blend of luxurious amenities, thoughtful design, and natural beauty makes it an ideal sanctuary for Ice Cube and his family. It is a place where they can escape the pressures of fame and enjoy the comforts of home, all while being surrounded by the serenity and privacy that this stunning property affords. Dear friends, when talking about Ice Cube's wealth, just mentioning real estate is not enough, let's admire more about the car collection he owns. Cars At the pinnacle of this impressive lineup is the Rolls-Royce Ghost, a vehicle that embodies the perfect blend of opulence and engineering excellence. As the most expensive and luxurious car in his collection, the Ghost is more than just a mode of transportation, it's a statement of prestige. Under the hood, this masterpiece is powered by a 6-liter, 6,750cc twin-turbo V12 engine, paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission. The result is a smooth, powerful driving experience that stands out even among other luxury vehicles. Inside, the Ghost is adorned with the finest materials, featuring hand-stitched leather and real wood veneers, highlighting the meticulous craftsmanship that goes into each detail. The Rolls-Royce Ghost is truly a marvel of modern automotive engineering and design. Another gem in Ice Cube's collection is the Chevrolet Impala, a car that has earned its place in automotive history. The Impala is not just a car it's a symbol of American muscle and classic design. Its enduring popularity, 
even six decades after its initial release, speaks volumes about its legendary status. The Impala's original configuration included a massive more than 6-liter V8 engine, boasting an iron block and head. This powerful engine produced an impressive 360 horsepower and 409 pound-feet of torque, delivering a driving experience that was unmatched in its time. The Chevrolet Impala remains a prized possession for true car enthusiasts who appreciate the beauty and power of restored classics. The Cadillac Escalade in Ice Cube's collection is another standout vehicle, showcasing his affinity for classic American SUVs that blend style with substance. The Escalade has long been a favorite among celebrities and athletes, and Ice Cube's custom version is no exception. Powered by a 6-liter V8 engine, the Escalade delivers 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque, making it a powerful presence on the road. Its performance is as impressive as its appearance, with the ability to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 6 seconds. The exterior of the Escalade is bold and commanding, featuring a distinctive grille and chrome accents that catch the eye. Inside, the Escalade offers a luxurious experience with spacious leather seats and a premium sound system, making it a perfect blend of comfort and performance. Another standout in Ice Cube's collection is the Audi 7 Rupees, a luxury sports car that exemplifies the fusion of cutting-edge technology and high-performance engineering. The RS7 is powered by a 4-liter V8 engine, producing a staggering 591 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque. Priced starting at $110,000 the 7 rupees is known for its sleek design, characterized by its sharp lines and aggressive stance. The car's performance capabilities are matched by its luxurious interior, offering a blend of advanced technology and high-end materials that ensure both driver and passengers experience the pinnacle of automotive luxury. In Ice Cube's collection, the Audi 7 rupees represents the cutting edge of modern automotive design and performance showcasing his appreciation for vehicles that offer both speed and sophistication. Ice Cube's car collection reflects his status as a hip-hop icon and successful entrepreneur, showcasing his appreciation for vehicles that offer both performance and luxury. Each car in his garage tells a story of engineering prowess and design excellence, making his collection one of the most impressive in the entertainment industry. Luxury Purchases Ice Cube has not only made a name for himself in the entertainment industry but also enjoys the fruits of his labor through luxury purchases that reflect his success and refined taste. One of Ice Cube's go-to timepieces is the Gucci G Timeless Watch, a classic accessory that exudes sophistication. With its sleek leather strap and elegant design, this watch is more than just a timekeeper it's a statement piece. Priced around $800, the Gucci G Timeless is a symbol of understated luxury, perfectly complementing Ice Cube's personal style. In addition to the Gucci watch, Ice Cube owns a TW Steel CEO Tech watch, a piece that perfectly captures the essence of modern masculinity. This watch features a bold black dial, encased in sandblasted steel with a grade of black PVD coating, and is paired with a black Italian leather strap accented by red stitching. The TW Steel CEO Tech, priced at around $420, is a striking blend of durability and elegance, making it a fitting choice for someone with Ice Cube's larger-than-life persona. Ice Cube's love for high-performance timepieces is further exemplified by his MTM Special Ops watch. Priced close to $2,000, the MTM Special Ops watch is not just a luxury item but a tool of resilience. Built to withstand harsh environments, this watch combines high-performance functionality with a strong aesthetic appeal making it a favorite among those who appreciate both style and substance. Beyond his own luxury items, Ice Cube is also known for his generosity, especially when it comes to his wife, Kimberly Woodruff. To celebrate their 25th wedding anniversary, Ice Cube gifted Kimberly a BMW 5 Series, a mid-sized luxury sedan that epitomizes the perfect balance between attitude and sophistication. Depending on the model and trim, this vehicle can cost as much as $140,000. The BMW 5 Series is not just a car it's a symbol of their enduring love and his appreciation for her unwavering support throughout their years together. But Ice Cube didn't stop there. He also gifted Kimberly a Bentley Flying Spur, an ultra-luxurious British car that represents the pinnacle of automotive sophistication. The Bentley Flying Spur, with a price tag that can reach as high as $200,000, is a true masterpiece of luxury engineering. This car, Known for its exquisite craftsmanship and unparalleled comfort, 
is a testament to Ice Cube's desire to provide his wife with the very best. The Bentley Flying Spur is not just a vehicle it's a rolling sanctuary of elegance, embodying the love and respect he has for Kimberly. Ice Cube's luxury purchases reflect his success and his appreciation for the finer things in life. Personal Life Ice Cube has built an empire in the worlds of music, film, and business, but his most cherished role is that of a husband and father. His love story with Kimberly Woodruff is one of enduring partnership and mutual support. The couple's journey began in the most unexpected of places, a shopping mall. Ice Cube first laid eyes on Kimberly while descending an escalator, and though their initial meeting was brief, it left a lasting impression on him. After two years of dating, Ice Cube and Kimberly solidified their bond by tying the knot on April 26, 1992. Over three decades later, their marriage remains one of the most enduring and admired in the entertainment industry. Together, Ice Cube and Kimberly have raised five children, each of whom has inherited their parents' drive and ambition, though they have pursued diverse paths. Their eldest son, O'Shea Jackson Jr., was born in 1991, just a year before his parents' wedding. O'Shea, who initially pursued a career in music under the stage name OMG, later shifted his focus to acting, where he found considerable success. His breakthrough role came in 2015 when he portrayed his father in the critically acclaimed film Straight Outta Compton, a biographical drama that chronicled the rise of N.W.A., the pioneering rap group that launched Ice Cube's career. O'Shea Jr. has also collaborated musically with his father, notably on the track, Y'all Know How I Am, from Ice Cube's 2010 album I Am The West. Daryl Jackson, born in 1992, followed a different path, focusing his talents behind the scenes in the music and film industries. Daryl works at Lynch Mob Records, the label founded by his father, and is also involved with Cube Vision, Ice Cube's film and television production company. Daryl played a key role as an associate producer on Straight Outta Compton, contributing to the film's success and ensuring that his father's story was told with authenticity and care. The couple's daughters, Karima and Deja, were born in 1994. Karima has occasionally accompanied her father to public events, such as movie premieres and award ceremonies, showcasing the close bond they share. However, she, like her sister Deja, prefers to maintain a low profile. Little is known about Deja, who has chosen to live her life away from the public eye, avoiding the spotlight that often comes with being the child of a celebrity. Their youngest son, Sharif Jackson, born in 1995, has similarly kept a low profile. He has only made a few public appearances with his father, choosing to lead a private life away from the glare of fame. Beyond his roles as a husband and father, Ice Cube is also an avid sports fan, with a deep passion for Los Angeles teams. He is a dedicated supporter of the MLB's Los Angeles Dodgers, often seen sporting their gear and attending games. His love for the Los Angeles Lakers is equally strong, and he has been a vocal and enthusiastic fan of the NBA team for years. This connection to his hometown teams reflects Ice Cube's loyalty and pride in his roots, traits that have defined both his career and personal life. Thank you for watching the video. Please leave your comments below. We hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like it. Your support helps us bring more in-depth content and exciting stories to you. Stay tuned for more exclusive content and updates and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.